Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly. We're here today with Danny Peters. He's our boys athlete of the week, a sophomore at Palo Alto High School, made a starting debut as a quarterback for the football team, and he had a decent game, 309 yards and six touchdown passes. So talk about that first touchdown in particular and uh, maybe the game in general. Uh, well, when I first got in after the fumble from Louie, I was more thinking about like my own reads, my passing, my throws, because I didn't want to I just, that's my job, that's what I, what I wanted to do. And uh, when I got the snap, I saw a hole where Colin Giffen would be and I threw it there and he caught it for a touchdown and just, it, that definitely got my confidence up for the rest of the game and allowed me to be myself and be my my own like personal player kind of. So w when did you, speaking of Colin, when, when did you first find out you were gonna start? And I know he had a little say in it himself. Uh, I found out about, four days before the actual game itself and uh, that was because uh, Kevin Cullen our, our all-star defender and quarterback also he actually had the idea of himself since our team is more defense based we needed him on our defense and it was his idea to have me come in for more reps on offense so that he can focus on defense he, and that just showed how much of a team player he is and how uh, how much he really cares about this team. That's right, Kevin, and he was an all-league player last year in defense, as I recall, and one of the better strong safeties, I want to say, in uh, CCS. So, again, teamwork, like, uh, you know, and you, you obviously have to have a line. You also have to have some skill positions. Kind of talk about your teammates a little bit. Um, well, compared to last year, I f it's, a, it's a lot better because these players really, they really, want to, they really want this. They really want to go far and just su succeed. And uh, it, it helps so much because they all do their job and that allows me to do my job. And I, I just, it, we're a family on the team and, and that's just what we're going to be for us this season to do what we do. Mm -hmm. Now, Jameer Shepard is getting a lot of scholarship offers and there's a reason for that. Maybe you could tell us why. Uh, I mean, it, it just, he, he makes the whole game easier for, for me and for all the other players because he can make big plays really whenever you just get in the ball. Like if I throw him a quick screen pass, he'll take it for 60 yards for a touchdown. It makes, it makes me look good and I, I just appreciate him so much. It's just, it's awesome. He's, it, he deserves what he does because he works hard for it. Right, and then four of those touchdown passes were to him, four of the six, so I guess that's saying a lot. Uh, you know, when you get, to, you get on the varsity now, you had, uh, you know, you play JVs, it's not quite as serious, you know, the games are different. But once you're on varsity, you guys are all kind of committed to something big time I guess and yeah. I mean you set real you know goals that uh, what high expectations what, what's the beginning of the season like um well I say our goals were to uh, I mean obviously everyone wants to win the CCS championship that's everyone's goal at the start of the season but I say what we really focus on is winning each game like one by one so we work that week on just focusing on the game before don't worry about anything coming in the future just work on whatever's coming this week and after we complete that week, it's on to the next task and just keep going from there. And that'll show what, what we are and what we, how we are as a team. And just see if we can actually compete. Now, watching it from the outside, from the JV point of view, I'm sure you were at most games, and uh, well, all games, I would say. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what was it like? I mean, that was a big turnaround season. It was, I mean, what, do, what did it mean to you to see that kind of play? Well, I mean, it just showed that, that all the players, they, they really – like the coaching staff change really helped because it gave them, it gave the players confidence in their coach and it allowed them to focus on the play more. And I, it was fun watching because you can tell all the energy they had, all the like just the big plays and just how, how much fun they had playing the game. And uh, it was, it was just really fun to watch. Yeah. You remember the first time you ever quarterback to any team, Pee Wees or anything? Actually, my first time ever was last year on JV. Yeah, and. Uh, I mean, I I played like flag football in the past, you know, for like my middle school. But when I got to tackle football, it was definitely a big change for me. I remember my f being hit for the first time. It was definitely a big change, and uh, it was just, I mean, it's definitely a lot more fun because it goes so much faster. The pace is so much faster. It gets your adrenaline up. It's it's just a lot of fun compared to like slower t like leagues, as in like flag football and other leagues like that. Yeah. Great. So we've been talking to Danny Peters. He's been our Athlete of the Week, or is our Athlete of the Week, and congratulations. Thank you. And if you want to find out about next week's Athlete of the Week, hit that subscribe button down below, or visit us at pasportsonline.com.